Hello and welcome to our Jira demo. Today I would like to give you a short view where we are currently are with our Jira app. First I will jump to our Jira board. Here I have prepared some Jira bugs and stories that are either in the status selected for development or in status in progress. Now I'm the developer and look at my board to see what tasks are to be developed. For example, here is issue RTC8, implementation of a new report. I pull this in status in progress so that the development can start. Let's start with development and let us jump to the subsystem. I call transaction SC01 to create a new transport request. Enter a description. And after confirmation, a new screen appears to assign a JIRA issue to the transport request. Since it is possible to add multiple ITSM systems to Transport Manager, you can select the appropriate ITSM system here. For this development system, JIRA server has been assigned as default, so it is displayed automatically. With the F4 help, on the JIRA issue field, all possible selectable JIRA issues are displayed. Which of these issues can be configured individually? The input for this is the same as in JQL. In our case, I have configured it to show only the issues that are assigned to me and are in status progress. After assigning a transport request to the JIRA issue, we take a closer look at this issue in the JIRA board. Back on the JIRA board, we go into the detail view. In the Z panel on the right side is the new Smart Change area. All subtransports assigned to the issue are displayed here. To pick up those, who are not so familiar with a subtransport system, a transport is a container where the changes to an object are stored. Therefore, it is very important that the transports are imported sequentially in the correct order into the subsystems. Here we see our transport request. Since it was created in the development system and is still being processed, only the transport details such as description and owner are displayed. This information is easily visible via mouse hoover. Now we jump back into the subsystem to finish the development. For the demo I create a new report now. I call transaction SE38. Create new report. Now I assign the previously created transport to the report. As implementation, I create a simple output with Hello World. We check if everything is okay. Yes, we generate the report and now we test it. Yes, the output is giving and everything is working. Now we want to deploy this report in the SAP landscape. To do this, we go back to the transport organizer and release the transport. I jump back. At first, I release the task and then the transport request. What you see here is the project destination assignment. This is used to define the trans transport routes in SAP. 
This comes from the SAP add-on Smart Change. This is the counterpart of a JIRA app on the SAP side. This is what you need to control all the transport, sequences, automations that are necessary to control the subsystem. We assign now the transport to a project basis, destination default 001, and add it to the transport manager. Now the transport has been sent on its way and will be automatically transported into the quality system within the next minutes. Back to the overview, we find our transport request as released. Let's take a quick look at the transport manager. The transaction for the transport manager is slash rtc slash tm. Click to the workflow monitor. On the left side, other levels into a transport request can be deployed. Our transport request should now be available on level quality. Each level has statuses, queue, signature and current. Since we automatically import the transport request up to quality level, our transport request is to find in the status current. A job is running in the background, which imports the transport request into the respective systems. In the next few seconds, the job should, uh, should be running and the transport request will be imported into the quality system. The result is now shown in JIRA. In the meantime, the background job is surely already finished. I will refresh the display. Due to the import in the quality system, the status in the JIRA issue has been updated. Now the JIRA issue is in status review and ready for testing. The smart change area also shows the current data. If you move the mouse over the level of transport request via mouse hover, all approvals to the transport request are displayed. You can see from the username that the approvals were automatically performed by the system. In the import status, the QR system PQ1 is shown in green. This indicates that the transport was imported successfully with return code 0. Further details can also be displayed here via mouse hover. Now the test can be started. The test result can now be positive or negative. In case the tester has discovered errors, he will initiate a correction in the JIRA issue. He describes in the comment how the error case can be reproduced and the status is set back to in progress. So it is possible to add a new transport job in the JIRA issue. This is usually done in SAP with a correction transport. This is also added to the JIRA issue. Another possibility is to attach a correction transport to a subtask. Basically, it is possible to combine several related transports from different systems like ERP and EWM systems into one JIRA issue with the JIRA app. The tests are now finished. There are now two different options. First, the transition testing OK can be triggered directly in JIRA. Here, it would be possible to trigger the approval in SmartChange via OData service from our integration framework in SAP. I can also perform the approval in SmartChange directly in the sub-user interface. Approvals are important to prevent unchecked changes from being imported. 
the number of approvals is freely configurable. In my example, I work with a two-step approval. I improve now the transport request with my user. In practice, the release is done by different user and can be forced in the system. I approve the transport request in the transport manager. First, I refresh the workflow monitor. The transport request is already in signature status on production level. After the import into the quality system was successful, the next status was set again automatically by the transport manager. Now I approve the transport request. First, content approval, and then the technical approval. After the approval on quality level, the transport request is now ready for production and is moved automatically to the status selected for production import. Jump back to the JIRA board, we see the status is refreshed. The development now only needs to be imported into the production system. Usually, the production systems are not deployed immediately. This can be done manually or time-controlled at a certain point in time. That can be controlled or managed via automation options in SmartChange. In my example, the import was executed again in the meantime with a background job. Displayed the detail view, the import details can be checked. We refresh. After import was successful, the data in the JIRA issue is updated again. We have now return code 0. The transition to done is to do manually. This could also be triggered automatically, either directly after the successful import into production or after at a defined time window which would be preferable for minor corrections to help them directly in the current change. Now I have reached the end of my demo. At last I show you the simple configuration on JIRA side. Each project can be assigned to a TM controller. All TM controllers available for the projects are defined in the administration under Managed Apps. I log in now into the administration. And select Manage Apps. On the left side, a new array exists, named Realtek, where a TM controller can be added. To add a TM controller, you need basically server name and the port of subsystem. Back to the project. A project configuration exists. Here on the left side, in the Realtek area, settings and filter options are available. To connect a TM controller to the project, in the settings, a TM controller has to be selected that was defined before in Managed Apps. For each project, also the development systems are important. That can be defined here. The second option are the filter settings. Here is possible to define for which issues the integration is active. The definition can be done via JQL query.